Hello and welcome to the programmable logic in practice demo. So I'm going to show you this um, hardware co-simulation. So I have an example project. This is the FFT project, <coughs> um, which you can download from the programmable logic in practice.com. It's based on the Xilinx app note. And all I've done is I've modified the FFT core um, as well as the length of the FFT testing to reflect the smaller LX9 device rather than the larger Spartan 6 device shown in the um, in the app note. Besides that, it's basically the same. So you can start if you want, you can just simulate the whole behavioral model. Um, what And what this will do is this just runs the simulation as if you're doing a, you know, regular old uh, iSIM simulation and everything's done in in software. So the FFT simulation is done in software. Um, what I want to show you instead though is how you can speed up the the simulation by pushing certain blocks down to the hardware device. So in this case let's say we wanted to test this FFT device. Um, you know we may verify it in software but maybe the FFT is just part of a much larger design and we know this FFT block works, but we don't know, you know, something that is using the data works. And that's what we really want to test. But you can see using this FFT block is pretty slow. Um, so we'll just let the simulation run and it will in the end take a while. It normally takes 40 to 50 seconds. Uh, instead, what I'll show you is that we can simulate, you know, this FFT block or we can push it down to the hardware and instead we download the data, we run the FFT on the actual FPGA, which is much, much faster, and then upload the results for this. Um, so it just gives you some output, waiting waiting until the output from all frames, and there we go, simulation done, 51.7 seconds. So let's try this with hardware COSIM. So what I have to do is I select the, the module, so the top module here is the test bench, this module is the FFT, which is just literally a wrapper around the actual FFT core. There's nothing in this. Um, so we just go source properties here and under the hardware COSIM, we enable that. Uh, we need to tell what the, the clock is. So the clock, and the question is, what is the clock to this block here? It's called top underscore a clock. So we go back here, enable. Um, and we select the board we're going to use. So there's some built-in one, this, the SP601, 605. I've added the LX9. Um, so to add this, you need to find where the this board support package is. So this is shown on the programmable logic in practice. And basically, you edit this file, and you insert this into it. Um, once you do that, it'll and you restart ISE, you'll have this option for the LX9 like this. So I just hit OK. And I'm going to use the incremental compile option, which means when I change the the design, it won't resynthesize everything, um, as the synthesis process takes quite a bit of time. So this will speed up my design or when I run the simulation a huge amount. Although the first time through, it, uh, it takes quite a while. So here it's complaining that I used iSIM before. So I just run this cleanup project file. And if you get weird errors, you often have to run the cleanup project files. I find the, the hardware COSIM maybe isn't as well supported as everything else. Um, so once this starts, I warn you, it does take a while to synthesize the whole design. Uh, for some reason, this particular project takes a long, long time. I don't, because it's quite a small device. Um, I think the FFT only barely fits inside the, uh, the device. So it's actually a lot faster if you use a larger device or you reduce the size of the FFT. Um, I'm just going to pause the recording once it gets to the the mapping step uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch 15 minutes of ISE spinning. Um, and again, the point is that the well, the, this initial step takes a long time. After that, the simulation runs much faster. So you you only need to do this step once, and then maybe you're running the simulation a whole bunch of times because you want to, you know, test different data or it's part of a larger system. Um, so as I said, I'll go ahead and pause the recording, and when I come back, this will be all done. All right. So it's um, 
it's completed this. So that did take about 15 minutes to complete the um, all the stuff here. Uh, anyway, so what you can now is rerun the the simulation window has already popped up. So in your case, it would already start running. I'm just going to rerun it here. So you can see with the incremental compile, it opens right up downloads the bitstream to the device and then just starts simulating. Uh, so what you'll see is this running much, much faster. Um, and the final result here is that that entire simulation, which took 50 or so seconds in software, has now taken 11.5 with the, um, the hardware COSIM. And this is on a smaller device too. This is just an LX9, so it's not even a very large FFT. If you're doing really complex stuff, you can see you know huge, huge improvements in speed. Um, so you can check out the other parts um, of the video and the rest of the article.